back i brought my children here because i thought this place was only for children only to find out that i enjoyed me and the people i came with we enjoyed more than the children that's why i, I decided to bring it to you please let's enjoy the zoo together Interestingly, uh, the spots are different. That's something special about these animals. Mm. Just like um, tigers, eh? the stripes are different. It's different identification. Mm. All the human fingers. Your fingers are different from mine. That's why they call, they call for um, fingerprints. We shall never have the same fingerprints. The same fingerprints. So similar case, tiger, I mean, uh, giraffes have different uh, sheds. Mm. Their bodies, tigers have different stripes, individual tigers, mm. zebras, same case, and that's common among spotted and striped animals. They have different their identification, so they are human fingerprints. Mm. Now, this is a Kidepo <laughs> exhibit. Kidepo. Called, yeah, this exhibit is called Kidepo, mm. and when you look carefully, these animals will find them in Kidepo, mm. northeastern Uganda. Mm. Uh, it's a bit of semi arid, mm. you know. Uh, a bit of savanna -ish. so you'll find the ostrich, the, uh, the giraffes, mm. that side. Mm. Remember giraffes in the wild, you find them in Machison, Kidepo, and those that were introduced in uh, Lake Mbor. Mm. That's why you'll find them in giraffes. They love the acacia trees, the branches, that's mm. what they feed on. Okay. So we always bring those and hang them mm. on a pulley system, so that they feed on them. Mm. Yeah. They are uh, actually browsers for them they search for food the leaves up in the tree mm. then we have um, grazers grazers are these that feed on vegetation oh, yeah. from the ground okay. like the buffalo okay. but it's the tallest land mom so we have the Woo! my god What's this one called? We have the African rock python. Python? Yeah, timber. It's called the African rock python. Um, I actually see two. It's so uh, big. And uh, it's the largest uh, snake on the continent of Africa. And what does it feed on? Feeds on, uh, can eat rabbits. Rabbits? Can eat chicken, can eat a goat. Yeah, feed them like once or twice a week. Okay. Uh, it kills by constriction. It uh, squeezes, it constricts, you know, whatever it's going to swallow, and then swallow, swallows it, and then the digestion process takes another longer time. Yeah. So it first so it squeezes you after. to kill you. Okay. First, yeah. It feeds every after? One or two weeks. Okay. Give it, yeah. So it's a timber, it's called a timber, uh, locally. A 
very large timber can weigh about 90 kilograms. But some can go to about... This 50. is one. Yeah, there are three. There are three. Mm. Wow. For instance, this is one, two, three. Yeah. You're scared of snakes. <laughs> I just don't like them. And then uh, here we have the forest cobra. I don't know where it is. I... Yes, it's there. Very dangerous. You've seen it? Very, very dangerous. Mm. Ah. Forest cobra. It's there. In. Mm -hmm. the species. Then here we have, I think, salambo. So they feed up every after week? One week, two weeks, yeah. You know, snakes lay eggs. This one gives birth to live young ones. Yeah. So has it given birth? Yeah, it gave birth and we released them in oh, Matheson. Yeah. We have released so far, I think a few months ago, we released about 79 snakes in Matheson. Mm. We have encroached on wetlands. Wetlands is part of the ecosystem. Ecosystem. And um, ecological balance. For instance, they get frogs, amphibians that they feed on from wetlands, those swamps. So the problem is when you build your house there, you're destroying their habitat. Some of these snakes stay in those wetlands and that's where they get their food. Like, Two. do they die of old age? Yeah, of course they die. They're like natural, natural currency. Mm. Uh, some of these, they killed, for instance, timber to make a long drum, Zengalab. Oh. You've seen the skin, the skin of the long drum, Zengalab. This is from a timber. Oh. Uh -huh. And some of those uh, skins you make bugs, shoes, you've seen oh, shoes, yeah. skin, mm. wallets. Yeah. So we don't promote that as conservationists because it promotes the killing of these reptiles. Mm. But they're very good for research because the anti-venin, what, what you call anti-venom, mm. is actually gotten from a snake. From snake. That too. Two. They, uh, of course that's research. Two medicinal purposes, three, um, tourism. Now we are here. Mm. People pay entrance fees to come and see these snakes. Mm. Some people don't know the kind of snakes, you know. Uh, learning purposes, schools come and learn. These are the tetrases. We rescue them, we bring them here. Is this real? Yeah, in food. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We rescue them mm. and bring them here. We have rescued them from people, uh, for instance, those who believe in witchcraft, mm. uh, witch doctors who use them and think it's, uh, it's, it's part of their practice. Mm. Rescue them. Sometimes uh, uh, they live in marshy kind of environments. Mm. We bring them here. Um, some believe they are good for medicinal purposes. Mm. Uh, so these are part of the reptile section. Mm. Then we have the otters there. You have heard of Vengonge. No. Now, beauty about the animals we have here are totems. I don't know whether in Nankole you have totems. Yes. But we have quite a number here. People from northern Uganda, I think western Uganda, mm. Uganda, eastern Uganda. So, like Vengonge is one of those totems. Mm. It's an otter. It's uh, an agile swimmer, very good at swimming. Mm. And uh, <laughs> loves fish. And that gives fishermen headache. <laughs> when you trap your fish and leave them in the cast your nets, catch your fish and leave them in the nets, the things will either eat the head or the tail. You find her pieces of fish. So the otters wow. if they are basking in the sun. They are very good for to keep them warm. Mm. They're good swimmers. Mm. Those are the otters called Ngonge. So you have heard of Ngonge clan. Uh, and they eat animal. fish, we feed them on fish. Mm. Ah, in Ronyankore, you call them Ngonji. Yeah, is it Ngonji? Ngonji. Ngonji, that one. Oh uh, frogs, insects, crabs, birds, water snails, they will feed on them. Mm. Uh, okay. And then we have the crocodile. Ooh. Yep. How many crocodiles do you see? Two. Ah. Very good. Are there more? Uh, 
I think these are the food. I think this is the time for all the animals to rest. Eh? Yeah, so these are, the Nile, <laughs> these are the Nile uh, crocodile, mm. the largest uh, on, on, uh, on the continent of Africa. Mm. And um, they're very interesting. When they lay their eggs, mm. they keep around to watch over their eggs. And uh, once it's ready to hatch, mm. uh, the mother will get the eggs, put them in the mouth mm. and uh, put them so that they hatch. You know, and then once they hatch, we will put them somewhere and look after them. So the father then never moves away from the kid, the, the kid the egg. The They're father. always around, the father and the mother. So whenever, next wow. time you see a crocodile out in the wild, mm. in the, somewhere, just know their eggs. Know they are by default, by purpose. Yeah. And they're very interesting. Look what's the color of the zebra? <laughs> Black and white. <laughs> huh? so, the speech, so which one is it? Is, is is it is the skin white or black? I think the skin is black. Uh huh. And, and the stripes are uh? white. That's what I think. The stripes are white. Well, that's your homework. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> that's your homework. <laughs> At least one thing is they're, they're, they're of course they have they're black and white. That is one thing that is unique. That is of course a confusion for many they're people. Black they're and like, white. are they white? Are they black? Are they black? Are they white stripes? So. They're just black and white. Okay. They are calm. Mm. They are mainly in savannah areas. Yeah. And uh, when when they grow uh, to become juveniles, they usually the males move away to start their own because they feel they are now superior. They don't want to live amongst the others. But they are calm animals. Then here we have the buffaloes. Buffaloes are a member of the big five. Very tough animals, mm. very dangerous animals. Mm. And uh, buffalo is very dangerous, in fact. Because a buffalo can kill a lion, a buffalo can kill any animal with its horn. So, call them Mbogo in Uganda. We also call them Mbogo. Ah, lovely. They're also grazers and uh, found in. Uh, they're like cows. Mm. Like like cows. But shorter. And then here we also have the warthogs. And uh, these are the Egyptian Egyptian geese. Egyptian geese uh, that fly. Sometimes found uh, on the lakes, sometimes they fly from distant places to here uh, because of the lake. So these are Egyptian geese here. And they are comfortable. There's another buffalo there. Mm. Quite in, in, um. So these barrels are meant for the warthogs. Huh? Warthogs, they love mm. burrowing. Mm. Uh -huh. So that's why you see those uh, kind of barrels. Okay. It's kind of there. Uh, mm. But basically, this is about um, Tevezu. Uh, we encourage people not to feed animals, touch them, throw mm. stones at them, and hit mm. them with sticks. Poo! Mm. So we have Pian and Upe. Uh, so one farmer in northeastern Uganda, mm. I think he was uh, coming from his garden, mm. and he met Two, thing, two, two, two of them. Yeah. Two cheetahs. They looked like uh, thought maybe they are puppies or cats, and picked them. They took were them, young. They were, were young. Still very young. Took them to his home. He thought maybe they were kittens. <laughs> he raised them. In in few weeks, they became a problem to his chicken. The man, the man started wondering what they were. He didn't know that they were cheetahs. Okay. Became a problem. You know, chasing chicken and what. Then they were, they had those wild instincts. Mm. So he called Uganda Wildlife Authority. Uganda Wildlife Authority notified us and uh, we ensured they arrived here. So one is Pian, because they come from Pianupe. Okay. One is Pian and the other one is Upe. Yeah, but they are the fastest land, they are the fastest wow. on land. Okay. Yeah. So they were brought here from um, Loro village, Amuda districts at seven weeks in 2015. 
2015, they make six years. Thank you so much, Mr. Eric. It was very, very interesting time with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Unfortunately, we can't shake hands. I am a social I am so happy. The best we can do is sanitize. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, I'm mm. so grateful You're welcome. for this show. It mm. was amazing. Pleasure. I realized so many things that I never knew were here. You're now um, ambassador. Some time back, I brought my children here because mm. I thought this place was just mm. for kids. Mm. But we ended up enjoying more than the kids. Beautiful. And now I get to know so many other things Beautiful. that I never knew Beautiful. before. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you too. <laughs>